Hi everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a skip diving or dumpster diving haul, I guess we'll call it, even though I didn't buy any of this stuff, but I'm going to be showing you a few things that I've literally picked up. <laughs> so basically, if you are not familiar with skip diving or dumpster diving. I think in the UK it's called skip diving or maybe skipping and in the US it's called dumpster diving. It's basically where you find things in a skip or a dumpster or in my case most of these items are just things that people have left out on the street. So where I live in London this seems to be quite a common occurrence. I don't know about other parts of the UK or other countries, but where I live, people tend to just leave things out in front of their houses and sometimes they'll put a little sign on it saying, please take me or free to a good home or other times they will just leave stuff by the bins, in which case you know it's fine to take if you want it. So yeah, I haven't been literally diving into skips or dumpsters, although that could be fun, but maybe a little bit dangerous. But um, yeah, as I say, all of these things are stuff that I've just picked up from the street when I've seen it being left out to go to a new good home. Uh, so I thought I'd share with you the things that I've picked up in recent weeks. At the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my tips as well, in case you wanna give this a go yourself. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new here. I'm uploading new videos every week. Anyway, right, so the first thing, or things I should say, that I picked up were these plant pots. <laughs> so obviously, um, you know me, can never have enough of these. I don't know what I'm gonna put in these because they're very tall, but I found two of them. So somebody had put these down by the bins, so they were obviously gonna be trashed, and they're good, solid glazed pots in a kind of, I would call that an aubergine colour, would you? Um, but yeah, really nice. They're very tall, so I think they'd be good for plants that need a bit of additional drainage, because you could fill the bottom half with gravel and then the top half with soil. So I'm thinking maybe uh, something like some herbs, maybe uh, some lavender might work quite nicely in these or let me know in the suggestions below. I always love um, hearing your ideas too, so if you've got a plant in mind that would go nicely in these, let me know. I would use them as vases, but they've got holes in the bottom, so that's not gonna work. The next thing I spied was this poster tube, so I thought I'd have a quick look inside it, and it does have a print in it, which I actually really, really like. So here it is. It's a scene of South Bank London, it says southbanklondon.com, be part of it. And it's a nice scene of, I don't know if you can see, but it's got the old Vic and the London Eye and the Oxo Tower. It's got the Imperial War Museum and the London Aquarium on it. And then you've got the vintage bookstall, the carousel, the buskers, people jogging, all the things that you would see on a typical day in the summer on the South Bank. Um, which is one of my favourite places in London. It's got the river down here, and these lamp posts are very iconic along the South Bank. You may have seen those if you've ever taken a stroll along it. So that's going to go in a frame, I think, and I think that'll look really good somewhere, so very pleased with that. I don't know why someone would just throw that out. I mean, you'd just think donate it to a charity shop if you don't want it, but anyway, it's been rescued, and it is going up somewhere. So a couple of things I got from a skip. If you are taking things from a skip, I think technically it is illegal. So do ask permission from the skip owner, okay? And uh, always check the legalities. You know, I'm not showing you this video telling you to do this at all. Have a little look at what the legal um, thing is for your area and where you're living before you go out doing it. And obviously do it at your own risk because if you're gonna be rummaging around in skips and bins, there's going to be a lot of nails and sharp stuff in there, so do be careful. But if you're after a bit of wood, <laughs> um, that is a great place to get it from. Before you go and splash out on wood from your local hardware store, then have a look in a skip because so much gets chucked out. I just wanted a little off cut because I'm going to be building a little shelf to put some succulents on. Um, and this was ideal and it's pretty much the dimensions that I wanted already. I just need to cut this off. Um, but I'll do that in a future DIY video for you. But uh, yeah, just uh, making use of that piece of wood. 
And I also picked up, this is another upcycle project, this cable reel. So I've seen some of these on Pinterest. There's lots of things you can do with this, but the most common one is to make a table from it. So you can put some legs on it, and then you can add some dividers if you want to around here. And you can actually put books all the way around it um, if you like reading, or you could just use it to store, you know, cups or whatever you wanted to um, on the lower shelf, and then you've got the top um, as well. So yeah, I might do a little upcycle project with that. So um, yeah, look out for that in a future video. But I thought it was quite cool, quite an industrial piece. Another thing you could do is use the just the inside here and create a wooden lampshade out of that. That'd be really really nice. And yeah, I've seen all sorts of things you can do with these. You can make a mirror frame. If you want to do a circular mirror, you've got your circular piece of wood already. So you just stick a round mirror onto that and then you'd be good to go. Uh, so yeah, so watch out for a uh, future upcycling video with that. And as always, if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. I am keen to hear them. I found another, what I thought was a plant pot, but I'm not sure. I think it might be something else. Does anybody recognise this? It's got quite a cool print on it. It's got like splatters of purple and turquoise paint on it. Um, and it has got holes underneath. But then it's kind of strange what's going on in there. It's got like a spike and a double layer sort of thing. So anyway, if it's not a plant pot, that's what I'm going to be using it for. Because I think it looks quite cool and it's got holes in it for drainage. So, yeah, it's plastic by the way, um, but yeah, I thought that was quite a cool little container. I'm sorry if you can hear the drilling, I've had to crack on with this video, otherwise I just wouldn't get anything filmed, so I do apologise, but as you know, I've got the builders busy working next door. The next piece I'm going to show you is too big and heavy to drag into the lounge, so I'm going to go to a cutaway now. So this is it. It is this steel vintage filing cabinet. It actually dates back to the 60s. I've looked it up. And this was very heavy to get home. We had to take all of the drawers out. We could only manage two of the drawers at a time. And it took two of us to carry the main cabinet home. It was only down the road, but still, it was an absolute killer. But it was that bit too close to warrant getting an Uber. I mean, it was only like half a road away, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but then by the time we got it back, we were like, oh, it was like sliced into all our hands because the metal's quite sharp. And anyway, forget about that. Got it back, I cleaned it up, and I'm so pleased with it. And I filled it up with all of our shoes. So not what you'd usually use it for, but because the drawers are so deep, I thought that'd be a really good use of it and because it's metal as well so any dirty shoes can go and they don't have to worry about it. And in the past when I've had filing cabinets for files, I've actually found that I haven't wanted to sort of go in there to look for the files if that makes sense. I'd rather just have the files in actual binders that I can grab easier um, off the shelf. So yeah, it also means that the shoe storage system in the office has now been freed up to store all of our kit and camera equipment and my blogging stuff so um yeah i'm looking forward to getting that all sorted and maybe i'll do a little office organizational video if you'd like to see that and the last piece that i found was this painting so it's an oil painting on canvas there's no glass in front of it so it's on its canvas and it's got a wooden frame it looks like the frame has been built especially for it. So I think it's quite a good quality piece and it's by an artist called Jenga. This was literally just propped up against a wall and you know you hear stories of artists like Banksy just leaving artworks around for people to discover. So I thought I'm going to pick that up, definitely take it home and I really like it anyway. I like the colour and I thought I'd have a look at who this artist is. I've looked them up and all that seems to come up is artworks made out of Jenga the game. So if anybody has any ideas as to how I can figure out who this artist is, I would love to hear them because I've done a really extensive search and I can't find anything. Yeah, a nice colourful piece of art and that's going to brighten up a corner of our home somewhere. I'm thinking of doing a gallery wall on our stairs when you first come in 
Um, but I need to decorate first. But this and lots of other pictures as the as the stairs go up might look good together. Um, yeah, watch this space. <laughs> I've got all these ideas and yeah, no time. But it's definitely one on the list. As promised, I've got a few little tips for you if you want to sort of give this a go yourself. So the first tip is that now is actually a really good time for this because I think it's kind of spring cleaning season, so it's a time when people are going through stuff in their homes and getting rid of unwanted pieces, and quite often they will just leave them outside of their homes. So basically, just keep your eyes peeled when you're out and about. I think most people would probably just walk past something if they saw it next to a bin or on the pavement. So yeah, it's just kind of switching your mindset, I guess, if you are sort of interested in picking up some pieces, that if you see something, just stop and have a look at it. My next tip is not to be embarrassed or ashamed of picking things up off the street or by a bin or from a skip. Um, I know some people may have opinions on this and think it's dirty or whatever, but Essentially, you can clean it, it's going to landfill, so if you can put it to good use, it's good for the environment. Um, so yeah, there's no harm in rescuing things and uh, giving them a new lease of life, so definitely don't be embarrassed. I feel a bit silly for even saying that in this video, but I know that there are people who would sort of look down their nose on this a little bit or whatever, so... Yeah, just don't worry about that. <laughs> My next tip is, as I've already said, just check what the legal situation is where you are. I know it varies from country to country. And here in the UK, as I say, I think technically you're not supposed to take things out of a skip because the property inside the skip is actually whoever's rented that skip and it's up to them if it wants to go to landfill or not, which I think is kind of crazy, but if there's people around, you know, be sensible, be polite, and ask them if you can take something. You might get a weird look from them, but generally they're probably going to say, yeah, no problem. And while we're on the subject of sort of the legal side of it, don't trespass or go onto other people's property. Don't go into people's front gardens and take things even if they look discarded because that is just wrong and it's trespassing. And if those things aren't discarded, and I'll tell you a story, it's so embarrassing, um, but basically you could end up in an awkward situation. So an example of this is once I saw a chair, now it was on the pavement, so I thought, wow, that's a great chair, really nice. Um, chair that I thought that looks quite nice and I was just about to take it when a little old lady came out from her house and through the front garden and parked herself up to sit in it for an afternoon of sunbathing so thank goodness I hadn't already picked it up and was halfway down the street with it because can you imagine how embarrassing that would have been? Most often things will have a little sign on them saying please take me or they're by the bins and it's blatantly obvious that they're being discarded. My next tip is a upcycling tip in general but it's to always keep in mind that the thing that the item is, hang on, how do I explain this? The purpose that the item has doesn't have to be the purpose that you want it for. So you might see a chest of drawers and it's all bashed up, but the drawers are in good nick. Those drawers could become planters, for example, or storage boxes or something else. So just be a bit imaginative with what use you could put things to. And my final tip is if you see something and you like it, then take it straight away. If you think about it and deliberate on it, and come back later on, the chances are, and I would say probably 95% of the time this has happened to me, it will have gone. I know this from my own experience, when I've wanted to get rid of something, I've put it outside of my front door and said, please take me on a little piece of paper on it. And usually, I'm not exaggerating, it will be gone within half an hour. It's the same with any scrap metal, anything that you put out will just disappear. I don't know if this is the case for everywhere but certainly in London things just go so if you like what you see just pick it up and take it with you and if it's a big piece don't do what I do and break your back trying to carry it home just get an Uber <laughs>
So those are all of my tips. I hope you found this video interesting and you enjoyed looking at the pieces that I've found. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever found anything or if you've ever been dumpster diving or skip diving, whether you'd consider doing it in the future now having watched this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.